Welcome back guys. It is actually nice enough that you can go outside and not freeze for once. It's like 16 degrees Celsius out here. It's a little bit windy, but it's just the perfect temperature to tint the windows. And that's what we're going to be doing today. I want to get these windows tinted before we get the snow because it's just going to be a lot harder if I have to tint the windows in the garage. So. I learned a couple things about tinting windows the last time I did it. Hopefully this goes a little bit faster and I also said I was going to share some of the solutions I thought of um, for tinting on these stupid little black dots. They're um, a black dot matrix and the problem with that is your tint actually rises and does this thing called silvering and that's what it did on our test window right here. But other than that, our test window looks pretty good. You guys can probably tell. Um, it's just these little silverings. So I think I developed a technique that might help it a little bit. Um, it's mostly what people do online. There is a couple other things that people do that are much better, but I don't got the time nor the skill to do it. And that would be to lay a black thin piece of vinyl all the way on these black dots here. But we're not gonna do that because I don't have the black vinyl and you need actually a cutter to do that. And essentially all we're going to do it to remove those black matrixes is just take some um, 1000 grit wet sandpaper and just sand along them making sure you don't hit especially right here this is your antenna on your car and then in here you don't want to hit the lines that go across as those are your heated windows. So here it's going to be a little bit trickier because you don't want to hit that. I know this isn't perfect, it's probably actually not going to fix the dot matrixes completely, but it will make it a little bit better than the silvering here. And we're going to see how long that lasts, because to tint these windows it's like 4 or 5 dollars of um, film, so it's not that bad if we have to redo it, if we think of a new way to do it later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this guy down right here, and then I'll go through the process of tinting the windows. It's pretty much the same thing, there's just one little change I'm doing so we don't get a little bit of fibers in here. So after letting the 1000 grit sandpaper soak in water for a little bit, what all we're gonna do is we're gonna sand down the little black matrixes. Try to only hit the matrixes themselves because you can actually sand down a little bit of the window with these. So it's just, you're not trying to remove them as so much as um, bring them down so they're less tall and then when the tint and film lays down, it's less of a valley. That it's sanded down, all I'm gonna do is just wipe it down with a microfiber. This is gonna be cleaned way better um, once we're actually laying the film down. But just for right now, I just wanna get all the little um, remnants off. And as you can see, it actually does remove some of the paint. Also, I unplug the antenna just so I can get the film down. Once we put the film down on here, what we'll be doing is cutting um, little holes for these little patch contact patches um, so that it, we can still have the radio even though I don't use it. And then essentially it's the same process that we did last time. So first we're going to clean off the outside of the window with our solution. So it's just water and some baby shampoo as it has no additives. Here I usually give you guys a guide or step by step. But as you can probably tell by the video title, that's not the way it went. So instead I cut it all my steps into just a quick time lapse. You guys can see exactly what I did. And then I'll go ex making a video explaining exactly what you need to do to actually properly teach your windows later. So I think a combination, a couple of things messed up this pretty good. I think it was because of these um, antennas right here and the fact that I didn't use enough soapy water that it kind of messed up a little bit but actually on camera it looks great wish it looked that good so we have a little bubbles here and here and then we have a crease here and a crease here that's because i didn't use enough liquid it's actually not hot at all i thought it was because it's warm but if i touch the window it's still nice and cool so it's definitely the um lack of liquid so when you are tinting you definitely want to just spray it right down and then these guys were a pain so I didn't cut around them what I should have done is when I was out here I should have cut them and then put them on um, after that would have made it a lot easier so it kind of messed up here and here um, these bubbles I think I can get out just by letting them heat up a bit and then pressing them out eventually but as you can see the dot matrix didn't fix at all so I'm just gonna give up on the dot matrix because the rear window is a lot bigger and there's a lot more so I'm just gonna leave it and I think we're gonna go do the back window now. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the rear window the exact same but not sanding down the dot matrixes because if we look 
it did nothing. It did a little something here, but you know what? That's probably going to pop out. Um, I did kind of fix this guy up a little bit more. I'm just going to continue this lead, press it down, and it should smoothen it out. So it's not too bad. I'll definitely be redoing these windows sometime, maybe with a darker tint if I want to. But as I said, we're going to do the back window. So I'm just going to leave you guys with a time lapse because I'm not going to go through the whole process again. Never mind, that didn't work so well. So, I don't know if it was beginner's luck or something, but actually our very first window is probably our best window right now. Um, but I did figure out a strategy. I'll tell you guys after we kind of go through all the mistakes that are on here. So, this window is the quarter window, and I should have cut these out actually before, because that was a pain, but I kind of fixed it, got it around it. And then for some reason we got like, a bubble here and a crease here and a crease here so honestly I think that's just not using enough soap so what I did is I used lots and lots and lots of soap on this guy right here and as you can probably tell it's a bit of a mess <laughs> so this quarter window actually doesn't look that bad from the inside but once we go on the outside you can see it better or see it worse I guess um, there's a lot of air here our strategy of trying to get around the dot matrices did nothing, so there's no point in doing those. And then there's air there and air there. Also, this one has like the antenna in the window, so that probably made it a little bit more difficult. But it shouldn't have made the creases and stuff. I think that was just not using enough soap. But that wasn't too bad compared to this guy. Now let's take a look here. So there's some um, what looks to be burn marks. Yeah, those are burn marks. I ended up using a torch because the hairdryer wasn't putting in enough heat down. Once you put heat on these, these actually um, kind of contract and that's exactly what you want on this window because when it does that, it fits the um, concavity because if you look, it isn't a flat window at all. So it leaves a lot of air. So once you heat that guy up, it actually, um, fits to the correct size. The only problem with that is the hair dryer wasn't providing enough heat. So I took a blowtorch and yeah, I kind of melted through it. So we're gonna have to redo this at some point, but it is tinted, I guess. Um, here's some of the more burn marks. And then look at all the creases. That's probably because I didn't heat it up and um, let it um, shape when I was trying to squeegee out the stuff. So it kind of caught and then messed up and made all those creases. So, if we take a look on this side, yeah, it's a little bit of a mess. But honestly, I've seen worse tint jobs, so all of here, only the center is probably the only good spot. And then this has the heating element on here too, so that heating element actually is going to um, probably mess with our tint a lot too. Also, I probably should have ended up removing this guy too because the third brake light's right in the way. And then these guys I cut around after, even though I said I should have cut around there, but I didn't, so that was also a problem. So to continue with the theme of nothing ever working right on this channel, there you go. The window tint didn't work. Um, we'll probably end up redoing it probably sooner than later, but I'm not sure exactly because we haven't even done these front windows yet. And I was going to 20% the front windows, but I guess when you're using it, I don't really have enough to do that. So we'll figure it out. I'll probably go get some more eventually. But I do have enough to do these, but I want to tint these guys first. But before we start tinting the windows again, I'll probably end up getting a heat gun because it will help so much more. And then if I ever vinyl wrap something, that will also come in use. But that's going to be it for today. So until tomorrow, peace out and stay humble. Oh.